crazy family today's the big day yeah how are you feeling so okay her sister is having a baby so we are going to the baby shower but what we found out is her biological mom is gonna be there and some biological siblings that she has never met before so we're like nervous excited all the feelings I know I haven't really been thinking about it but when I think like this morning I was getting ready I was like I'm meeting my siblings for the first time that's pretty cool I know you were saying the other day like you're actually more nervous to meet your siblings than you than are mom. your mom because I don't really know who she is but, does yeah. it feel like meeting a stranger or like pretty much so she got put into someone foster. that looks like me <laughs> someone that looks like We'll see if she looks like you. We don't even know, really. We've only yeah. seen like an older picture of her. But Hannah went into foster care when she was 18 months old. And I think the last time she saw her biological mom was maybe at a visit when you were like two years old, maybe? Yeah, but I don't remember. But she doesn't remember that. So it's kind of like meeting a stranger. Yeah. But I'm curious if there will be like a little bit of a connection or like how you'll feel. I don't know. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> So before we go to the baby shower, of course, we have to go get a gift. A baby gift. Yes. <laughs> what kind of gift are you thinking? Or like, I don't know. she was saying the other day that she has to have the best gift because she's I her do. sister. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> so do you have any ideas? I know we should get like a box of diapers because yeah. that's always so helpful. Yes. But I want to get an outfit. Oh. Okay, let's go. We're gonna run into Target real quick and get that baby gift. I'm not going in. I look like a bum and there's cute girls at Target all the time because it's Target, so frick no. I'm staying in here where I'm <laughs> safe and He's my like, ego safe. will not be ruined. What? You look fine. Ma are, can you see? Are your eyes okay? okay? I know, but no, it's his okay. hair is rough today. <laughs> I didn't have time to get ready. Actually, I did, but I didn't know we were leaving so soon. But. I know. Why are all the girls ready and you didn't get ready? That way, it's it's a long time. House, he doesn't care how I look. <laughs> okay, so they are going over to the crazy middle's house and hanging out with them. Why we go to the baby shower? Their house is so cool. That's cute. Yeah. So I think I found the best gift, but <laughs> we ended up finding like a really good, sorry guys. <laughs> we found a really good baby monitor. And then we got we got some, I think these are called swaddle blankets. Swaddle blankets? Swaddle blankets. And then, we got her this really, really, really cute outfit. It has a little tutu, it's so cute. Is it a bird? It's a girl. And then, I picked out this because it's a little stuffed animal. And I want her to sleep with it every night when she's born. Goodbye guys, Bye, have Mom. fun. Bye, Mom. Bye. Have fun with Spencer. I will. Hi, Trey. What are you doing? Everyone's still asleep. Everyone's still sleeping? So we left and we were actually gonna be like 20 minutes early and then there was this really bad car accident on the freeway and now it says we're gonna be 30 minutes late, which is yeah. crazy. But show them the traffic. Like this traffic is crazy. I really hope that the people are okay though. Yeah. That's so sad. I hate her. Like, really? Her, she has a younger sister. Yeah. Who's nine. Nine or ten, I don't remember. Nine or but ten, but we saw a picture. And we look like identical. It's like a twin. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. <laughs> How are you feeling? You're just like. 
<laughs> chilling. <laughs> I'm not scared. Like, She's just going with because I'm look. practically just meeting like strangers. That Aww, sounds so bad, that's but so like, sad. but like, you know, I don't know. <laughs> so we're here, and we're about to go in, and I'm kind of getting a little nervous. Now you're getting nervous. <laughs> stepped away just for a minute to come update you guys because you know there's a lot of loud music and a lot of talking and whatever so things between Hannah and her mom are going really well they kind of hit it off it's a little bit awkward I mean as it would be um, but it's going really well and she is just the most sweet and kindly woman like she's she's so sweet and she brought me and mom um, some presents um, she's so kind so things are going good <laughs> crazy like yeah. we're still we're gonna take the car right home to like process our feelings and like talk it through and then we'll let you guys know like yeah because it was different that was it was very different We are back. Hannah learned a ton of information about her foster care and adoption story. Things that she had no idea that happened. Um, so she has asked for me to mainly talk today. We're going to go sit outside real quick and talk a little bit. But she wants me to just like tell her tell you guys my experience and what I think and kind of my opinion so she won't be talking very much she's still processing everything but she said that she wants to do a full video about her foster care and adoption story so that will be coming out in the next couple days and you'll hear everything that was said and what happened and what went on today so let's go sit outside and tell you what I think so we just got back and it I mean we were able to talk and process everything on the way home. It was a lot. I mean it was an interesting situation. We learned a lot of stuff. Yeah. Um so her mom does not speak any English. So her boyfriend was with her and he was able to translate, but it was 
really hard to have the conversations that we wanted to have yeah. in that situation and being at a baby shower and just kind of the setting of everything. Um, her sibling, her siblings were not there. It was just the mom. Um, I think she wanted to meet and see the situation before she felt like that was okay. Yeah. Is that how you I, took I, it? I took it as that as well. Yeah. yeah. It's hard. I, it was a real eye-opener experience for me. And please don't judge the situation. But when you get into foster care, you hear and go through these terrible stories. And it's really hard from a mother or a parent standpoint to not have some bad feelings towards bio family sometimes. Um, knowing that they put them through certain traumas and certain situations, it almost makes you feel inside like, like why would you do that to your kid or why? And, and not that I'm a judgmental person, I try to be really open to the birth, birth families. But in some situations, I'm like, I just have a hard time understanding why. And, and it is partially judgmental in a way. I didn't want to have hard feelings going in, but part of me kind of did. And going into the situation, I felt like, you know, what is Hannah going to get out of this? She needs, you know, she has questions. She wants answers. She wants to understand what happened and why. And just have all these questions that I wanted Hannah to feel better about. And after like going through and talking to her a little bit, it was, it was opposite. She was holding such guilt and such shame and such, I don't know, it actually put her in depression for five years when she, you know, lost Hannah and Natasha to foster care. And she was holding on to that for the past what 14 and a half years 13 years um and so she needed validation she needed to know that that hannah loved her that i loved her and it was hard because it was like it's not how i went into the situation feeling but you could feel even though there was this language barrier even though there was this like you know, I could just feel the love from her. I, I agree, I feel like I could feel so much love towards me and I, like, I feel like I was just like, I felt like I was kind of judgmental as well, like towards her, I was like, well, she's the one who like put me into foster care, like, I don't know. Like, you know, like, does that make sense? Like, I feel like a lot yeah. of kids feel like that, like, well, my parents aren't like good people and they didn't love me, but when like I tr got to see her and like, she, like when she touched me and like when she hugged me, I feel like I could, and just like, just like her presence, I could just feel how much she loved me and how sorry she was and yeah. And she kept just saying like, I'm so sorry and I'm so grateful. She never thought that she'd be able to see Hannah again. So she was like, I'm so grateful that, that you're letting this happen, that you're, you know, open to a relationship, that you're open to hearing me out and and she, you know, we were able to go over some of the backstory about um, Hannah's birth dad. And, and it was a really abusive relationship and situation. And she was trying to get out of that. And ultimately, sorry. It's just, this was probably like one of the most difficult but eye-opening birth like reunification stories or things that I we've been through that I don't even know how to put it into words or explain it to you guys because it's like I left that like a totally different person in a way I think we can't judge other people everybody goes through something hard in life and everybody makes choices and mistakes and it doesn't mean It doesn't mean that she didn't love her kids. It doesn't mean that she's not or could not have been a great mom. So ultimately, she had a court date. She was working DCS. Is, um, so DCS, when a child gets put into foster care, they put together a plan to get your kid back. You need to complete these things. Um, oftentimes, it's drug rehabilitation or... Um, getting stable housing, getting a job, like things like that. 
and she had a court date to get Hannah and her sister back and then um, a fight or something happened and they ended up deporting her back to Mexico and she because she got deported she wasn't able to go to the court case to get her kids back and by the time she got back into the United States the kids had already had their rights severed and were being adopted out and it's it's a heart-wrenching story because I know that it happens so often where parents get deported and kids you know get put into foster care or go through situations but yeah. uh, you know but because there was that big language barrier she just kept touching Hannah and just kept like like loving on her and just like touching her face and it almost felt like she didn't feel she was real like she just like saw you for you and you could just like feel that love even though there was no language like did you feel the same like yeah sorry <laughs> like so emotional mm. I think the biggest takeaway from this whole thing is to not judge other people. Everyone makes mistakes, everyone goes through things in their life, but I think that for the majority of people, like we're trying to do better and we're trying to be better. And with foster care, it's so easy to want to cut birth family out and want to just be like, no, like let's leave the past in the past and let's move on. And in some situations, that is the best thing to do. But in the majority of the situations, there's something that was going on and some kind of cycle or some kind of, I don't know, some kind of just something even from their past traumas that they didn't work through and then it continues on to their kids and it's, it's just a cycle. And, and I really believe in breaking that cycle and I believe that if we don't judge other people and we give people a chance, I feel like the majority of the situations it, it works out and I feel like that was my biggest takeaway from today was I went in like feeling judgmental but not realizing that she was killing or carrying that guilt and that shame for so many years and she needed Hannah to validate that she wasn't ashamed of her and that she didn't hate her to be able to let go of that. And I'm hoping that we were, or that you were able to give her that today by how you talked to her and like how kind and patient you were with her. And even the language barrier was so frustrating and you were just like, no, I'm not ashamed of you. I love you. Like, you know, and you just kept reassuring her. And I felt like even she felt peace at the end. Like it was just this like, it was almost, like body language talked for us today instead of words yeah. you could just like feel the like love and feel the tension and feel everything without any words and it was just the crazy experience so as an audience member <clears throat> my biggest question is where do we go from here so <laughs> when we go take spanish classes <laughs> it'd be <laughs> nice to have an actual conversation Hannah was really quiet, but it was because of the situation, not only because of the language barrier, but just like processing. I think also because I also is so little that I don't think I had like, I think my main question was just really like who my dad was. And when I found that out, I was like, oh, I don't really think, like I don't want a relationship. I just like, it's not, I don't know, it's not good for me. So that was like the only question I had. Like, I think that's also why I was quiet. So I know, like you said, before we went in this situation, it was kind of like meeting a stranger. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like it was like that, though, after meeting her? No, I don't. No. It wasn't like a stranger? No. Did you feel like some kind of connection or some like, kind of love, like, there? I feel, yeah, right when she, like, looked at me, I could, like, feel like, some, I felt like something was there. Like, I don't know if that makes sense. I felt like something was there and, like, up, yeah. Which is interesting because she hasn't seen her in so long, so I didn't think there would be any connection. But it's it's not true. That is a piece of her. That's a piece of you know your your past and who you are and what makes you who you are. Another thing that we were talking about in the car was um, she was able to communicate to me that like I used to like be, like to go under the table or just like little things like that or like I used to like taking baths in the sink. 
and so and I was like a naughty child. <laughs> That's what she said. But it was just so heartwarming because sorry, I don't want to cry. <laughs> but when mom would like talk to Hallie, it would say like mom would talk to Hallie and she was like, Yeah, you were such a good baby when you were little. It was just so nice. Like to I guess just hear like something as like a child because like I didn't know like, any of that. I don't I hope that makes sense, but like it was just nice to hear like oh just like little things that I like to do when I was little or like just like little I don't know it was really hurt for me it was a it's something that a lot of kids that are adopted don't get or go through foster care is they don't get that like when you were a baby you slept through the night or you were up crying all the time and you kept me up and like those stories as a as a child that your parents tell you you know kids don't get and it's like Hannah got that today and she got that like that oh my gosh you loved to climb under tables and that was your thing and you were a quiet baby and you know and like all those different things and it was like I could just see when she was telling you that you were just you were like wow like that's something I've missed my whole life and you got it today and I just think that's so so special but so I know what you guys are thinking, where do we go from here? Um, I did get her number and her boyfriend's number. Um, I didn't give them my phone number yet. Um, I wanted to wait until I talked to Hannah and see like how she felt that it went and how, you know, where she wanted to go with it. Because of how well that we feel like it went, um, they are willing to let her meet her biological siblings. Um, which are they're really excited to meet yeah. her and I'm excited for you to meet them. them So we will be setting up in the next week or two um, Some kind of meeting or some kind of place um, that they can get together and just spend some time together and and Yeah, and just thought you had that. a lot of brothers and sisters before I know. About to she add six more <laughs> <laughs> About to add six more that's crazy 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 so I feel like we still need like a couple days to process like everything that was said. Mm -hmm. So we will like in an upcoming vlog maybe even go into a little bit more in depth. Um, like one, I guess one little thing I'll mention real quick is that Hannah was held at gunpoint when she was a baby. Mm -hmm. And that was shocking to me. And, and just, I don't know, there's just so much to process and just so much to go through, but but I'm thankful that it went better than I expected, actually. Do you agree? Yeah, I agree. <laughs> and do you want some kind of relationship or some kind of something? I, I do, actually. You like, do? Oh, I like that. I love that. Well, I love you. All right, thank you guys so much for watching this crazy journey unfold, even right before our eyes. <laughs> you just never know what to expect. But I know, listen to people. Like even if there is like, or you have this judgment or this notion or other people tell you, oh, that was one of the things that she said when she was like, I know you've heard so many things from other people about who I am. And she's like, please don't believe them. Like I've worked on myself. Like I'm a good person. I, you know, and she kept just saying that like, like also she was just also, she was also just being like, do I, um, I don't remember what she was saying. She's like, and do I, do you feel it, ashamed of I, her? I was like, are you ashamed? She's like, are you ashamed of me? And she like would ask me every like three minutes. And I was like, no, I'm not ashamed of you. And that was heartbreaking. I felt so, and she would look like, I, I don't know. I was just like, I'm not ashamed of you. And even when we were leaving, like saying our goodbyes, she was like, um, uh, what did she say? Oh, it was the same thing. Like, are you ashamed of me? Are you ashamed? And I was like, no, like, we love you. Like, we, we want there to be a relationship. We want for this to be a good, healthy thing. Okay, we will go ahead and end it here, but thank you guys so much for watching, and we will see you guys next time. Bye! Bye.